How do you know if someone's really a fraternity or sorority member? I mean, if they're not wearing letters, repping colors, or showing off their fresh new frat tat, how do you know? If I came to your campus, could I spot a member of your chapter? If I sat in a classroom, how would I know if a student in the seats was affiliated or not? If I was at some random house party on a Saturday night near campus, would I be able to tell who was a member of your community? Should, shouldn't someone be able to tell? I think so. I think it's core to our organization's purposes that people should be able to tell us apart from the crowd. But we're secret organizations, you might say. Mm, bull****. <laughs> we're not secret organizations. Our individual promises to our organizations might be secret, but the results better not be. The results, what people experience when they encounter one of our members, are the only place our fraternity or sorority can come to life. Each of our organizations requires us to make a unique commitment, right? A unique oath. But while the details of those oaths are specific to each organization, I think we have a shared set of expectations that are common to all fraternities and sororities. We are more. Fraternity men and sorority women make the choice to be more. We are more charitable, we're more likely to raise our hand, we're more colorful, we're more loud, we're more enthusiastic and confident, we try more, we achieve more, and we care more. We are more honorable and more fun. We are more because we make the choice to be. We're not secret organizations. We're the opposite. Everyone expects more from us, and we need to deliver on that promise. If I was at some random house party on a Sunday night, Sunday night, what did I make it a Sunday <laughs> night? <laughs> Showing off their fresh new frat tat? How do you know? If I came to your campus, could I spit a, a spot a, spot a, could I spit? <laughs> Probably. Pick a pack of pickled 